Hey everyone, welcome back to my gardens. It's good to see you again. It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd give you some updates. We've had a lot happen. Had some successes, had some failures, big failures, usually due to my stupidity. Um, the monsoon season is in full effect here in uh, the Mesa, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona area, which is nice to see the rain, but the winds are killer. Um, I'll explain that. Did some damage, actually a lot of damage. Uh, my garden, fortunately, because it's protected where it sits, survived just fine. Uh, other than I lost a sunshade, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So with that, let's get started. So as you can see, I've added a couple more raised beds. These ones I'm going to do a little bit different direction as far as the soil goes. I'm not very happy with the performance of the soil over here. The soil that I put in these beds originally, which you saw in previous videos, was just off the shelf uh, soil for raised beds. To be honest, my plants have struggled. Um, I've tried to keep the water right, uh, especially my peppers and some of my fruiting plants are just not fruiting. I, I've had to put some um, nutrition into the soil, which has helped a great deal. They're a lot better now than what they were a while ago when I realized they were basically starving. But now they've started to flourish though my tomatoes are struggling with the heat my onions did nothing really i've got a few stragglers i think it's just too hot now it gets we had 118 degree weather and the sun just bakes everything over here i have my watermelons watermelons look fantastic but no fruit so i'm guessing i need uh, more potassium or something in the soil so I'm going to start adding that, figure out what's best to add as naturally as I can to try and get them to fruit. Um, these plants here that you see right here, that's okra. And the okra has done well. They're really happy. Uh, they haven't got to the fruiting portion yet, but they've just gone gangbusters. This poor little scraggly thing down here is the Japanese cucumbers. It's not really done much. Um, though this this is uh of course sunflowers but my son got these during the arbor day celebration and we planted them in the garden next to the cucumbers and that is helping they've actually improved since the sunflowers have grown up and provided some shade and a little bit more protection for them my squash is a sorry mess unfortunately and i think it's just too hot out here I had some bug issues. I think I've got those mostly resolved now, but I just, I don't think they can handle the direct sun. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's summer squash, and I just think it's too hot for them, or something else going on that I can't figure out. If any of you know, please let me know. I'm in the learning phase on this. Okay, so, dragon fruit are doing good, but I've screwed up on a few things, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I, I don't know if you can see that, but right down there, yeah, you can just see it there. I've got root rot, and I'm not happy. I was stupid. I knew this could happen, but I got, we had family in town, and I just last lost track of the watering, and we had a lot of rain, and now I got root rot on two of my plants right there. And then as I mentioned, the sunburn right there. So I don't know if I'm going to lose them or not. Sorry, three of my plants. I've got a dragon fruit there that has root rot. And I'm afraid I'm going to lose them, which really breaks my heart. But at least I've got some they are still going strong. So I'm going to have to do these beds different. In the future, I can't companion plant like that because those things need more water than the dragon fruit do. It needs to get drier for the dragon fruit. So I'm going to have to do something different. Though... My strawberries are doing well, even with cutting back on the water. Now, our Armenian cucumbers are doing fantastic. They are growing right up that trellis, and they were growing up that wall, except the monsoon winds took them down. The only problem is I'm getting lots and lots of male flowers, and oh, wait a minute. There's a female flower. I'm going to have to try and pollinate that one. The problem is I don't get a lot of female flowers. 
I've got one cucumber growing down there, but I don't see very many others. The other problem is I don't have a lot of pollinators, which is a bit frustrating because one of the curses of living in a uh, suburban environment is everybody likes to poison the hell out of everything, and then they kill the pollinators. So, anyhow, I've got I'm going to have to hand pollinate. I think and I'll give you a few more updates. First of all, the fountain's doing really well. The hummingbirds absolutely love that, as do my grandkids, which is a chore to keep them out. And the bees, what few bees we get, which are very few, love to drink out of that thing. On the other side of this garden, the potted plants have been a struggle. I finally found a few plants that can handle the heat. I'm getting ready to run drip to them, as you can see. Um, of course, the native plants do okay, like the or desert plants, I shouldn't say native, like the aloe there does really well. The moringa is doing well. It doesn't mind the heat. And I actually put one of my moringas in the ground right there, and it's doing fantastic. I'm really, really happy. It's, it's growing twice as fast as the one in the pot, to be expected. I just haven't figured out where to put the one in the pot. My grapes. My grapes are doing better. Um, I had some problems, and I hopefully have resolved them. The ones over there, the far over there, the um, flameless grapes, the red flameless, whatever the heck they're called. Um, those ones look pretty sickly earlier. Now they're looking green and healthy and they're growing. And this one has a lot of growth. I've got a couple leaves. I don't know what happened. I think it may have been sunburnt because one of the things I didn't predict is I'll show you. See those windows? And my neighbor has them on the other side they like to reflect the Sun right on my plants and they're like magnifying glasses and so I've had a few plants get actually burned to death because of that so anyhow other than that I'm pretty happy about how most things are going back here I just have a lot to learn yet